Hello guys, today we are seeing a mixer. A mixer with truck head together. We usually call the truck head chassis and call the mixer superstructure as a device on top of the chassis. This mixer is prepared for our mayor to visit our new factory. And uh, this uh, chassis is uh, produced uh, by Shanxi, I guess. And this is the model of the chassis. And here is the cab. We can open the cab. And here is writing the total uh, weight is 31,000 kilogram. Here is the entrance to the cab. And this is the first step. And we have a bar here. You can hold the bar. Get into the cab itself. So inside we can see the driving uh, steering wheels and uh, those everything. Because we are a semi-trailer factory, so I'm not quite familiar with all the devices in the cab. But just uh, to show you how it looks like. The cab has two seats and uh, one sleeping bed in the rear. From the rear window you can see the spare tire. And in the front uh, you have uh, all the stuff you probably would operate uh, a mixer in the behind. And uh, here are all the buttons you probably need to modify according to the menu. So. Yeah, let's go out to have a look about the mixer body. So you can see when I get off, the chairs goes up automatically. Sounds like a humanity. This is a device I think is also operating the mixer in the rear. In the rear, First, uh, we can see a spare tire. Uh, we can, actually, it's a spare wheel. Tire with a rim. It's a spare wheel in the back of the cab. And also, we can see the mixer itself with uh, the rolling devices, something like this. And also, the water tank on the top is carrying the water and keep uh, giving water to the tank body and here is the I think it's the entrance of the water so you can put the water pipe here and give more water to the water tank here are some devices here with the more hydraulic pipes I think you can change to another side to have a more close uh, clear view now we are in the other side and we can see it's uh, more clear this is a cooler as my understanding so when the device is pretty hot, you probably need a cooler to cool it down. Back from here is a rolling body. So you can see here is uh, allow the body is rolling itself. And in the rear, we have a two ruler supporting it. So during the driving, so during the driving, you can have the mixer body rolling itself when you are driving so the concrete and the rocks and cement and the water would mix 
when you are transporting. Here is the top cover of the tire, and here is the stairs to the top. You can go to the top and have a look from here. Go to the top. You can check here to see if it is working very well. From here, you can see the inside of the mixer tank body. And here is the hole. We can have the concrete uh, goes off from here. So let's, uh, let's close the video and get off. Here is uh, the one bucket. I think this bucket is uh, for the remaining when you are finishing the dumping and then you can turn it to here and uh, put the remaining here to clean it later. So the mixer can drive after the discharge. Here is some uh, operating devices. I think those things are for the professionals. Only the professionals can operate it. So anyone who has no knowledge how to operate, please understand this is a very, very dangerous mixer. A lot of uh, accident shows it can swallow a small car very easily by the cargo inside of it. This is uh, the ramp. I think this ramp is uh, affordable and you can also move the direction of the discharging ramp. You can also pull it to here. I think you can also put it to the top position and lock it down. But I'm uh, just a one person, so let's just have a look from here. Okay, so here are some uh, pipes and uh, some uh, switches. Same, we still need the professionals to do the operation. In this side, it's the same as the other side. It uh, also has a stairs, goes to the top when they need it. This is a huge and a very strong supporting frame at the rear to support uh, the rear. And uh, in the left and right, they each have a hoisting hook. All the boat and the nut, you can see the color over there. There are uh, red color pen has already checked it. So whenever you see it's uh, in the different position, which means you need to double check it. Okay, I think this is enough for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy this video and see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.